Now here's a familiar dilemma. Billy's sneaking in past curfew after a night on the town with his pals. Careful, Bill. Be quiet as a mouse fart, or else you're gonna get busted. Oh, way to go, Bill. Here comes the old man. What kept you, son? Uh, oh, it was like this. You see, Skinny tripped and twisted his ankle, and we had to carry him to the hospital. Well, I don't mean we carried him. We, we took him there in a car. Oh, well, it wasn't exactly a car. It was more like a wagon. Are you uh, sure you're telling the truth, Bill? Uh... Of course I'm telling the truth. The trouble with this family is nobody ever believes me. Making excuses, that's one way to meet a problem. But not if you're a crappy liar like Bill. Now, here's another way. What kept you, Bill? Oh, sorry, Dad. I was fooling around with the gang, and it was 12.30 before I realized it. You know what we all agreed on, don't you? Yeah, anyone who comes in late can't go out again for a week. That's right. It's too bad, but... Oh, that's all right. It was my fault. Good night. Good night, Bill. Well, that didn't work. Bill got his keister grounded. Now, look at possibility number three. Where were you, Bill? It's none of your business. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm old enough to take care of myself. Now listen and beginning now, that's just what I'm going to do. No. And I'd like to see you or anyone else try to me. Now, that's how you take care of business. Bill showed his dad who's boss, and he went out for some more fun. It's only quarter to one. The bars close at two. Way to go, Billy boy.